the sites are cells of the immune system, deadly weapons in the body's defensive arsenal against disease. Immunity is provided by two types of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. Killer T cells, in addition to eliminating viruses and bacteria, hunt down and destroy cancer cells that spontaneously arise within the body. The killer T cells attack the larger cancer cells before they can produce life-threatening tumors. Such immune surveillance by T cells is critical to prevention of malignancies. When they fail, we die. She had a tumor, it was growing deep inside her breast. Nobody knew, cause she hadn't gone in for the test. All that good food and all that exercise and all that rest couldn't protect her from the poisons used to murder pests. She used to shop just like the other women at the store. She packed her bathing suits and took her children to the shore. She didn't know about the chemicals they often pour. Those careless poisons in our water. In there that caused the war. A private war. To her defenses were down. By the toxins and tissues it stored, she lost the war. She couldn't take any more. Her cells were worn out, her defense system simply shut down. In her immune system, things were going right. In her immune system, she was losing the fight. In her immune system, Made her a new big time of the industrial night. This is a war. Each day you're in the middle of a war, there's a battle going on in your blood and in your organs. When you've got a military corps, there are soldiers in your bosom, in your bones, and in your lymph nodes. Three teams of cells that we call lymphocytes. Each one has a weapon it can use to fight infection. Some eat up cells if they don't look right. There's one cell called a macrophage that leads to infection. These cells are busy making antibodies, making sure that everybody has the right protection. These cells will mobilize the enemy by locking onto antigens, stopping insurrection. T cells controlling in your bosom to keep the body rebel free from cancer insurrection. Five kinds of cellular reaction keep the body safe, but they can only cure a fraction. Of what goes wrong. This is a war. And it's your life that you're fighting for. Against the toxins, the tissues, a sword. This is a war. Your cells can't take any more. New cancers arise and your lymphocytes can't keep them down. If your immune system isn't working right, if your immune system simply gives up the fight, if your immune system Almost every day we may be exposed to an estimated 100,000 chemicals. We need to put them everywhere. In the foods we eat, the clothes we wear, the air we breathe. Many of these chemicals are immunotoxic, poison to our immune systems. They build up in our tissues, deplete our immune reserves, and weaken the very defenses that should protect us. With the soldiers of our immune systems vanquished, it is estimated that one out of every four Americans will suffer and most likely die from malignant cancer. This is a war.